Let's have example 3. Let's read and understand the problem. The sum of two numbers is 19. The sum of the squares of the numbers is 193. Find the two numbers. From the given problem, meron tayong two numbers. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung dalawang numbers, pero ang alam natin, ang sum nila ay 19. Therefore, i-represent ire natin ang first number or ang one of the numbers as x. And the other number is 19 minus x. For step 2, we will devise a plan. Kaya create tayo ng equation. In the problem, ang given ay the sum of the squares of the numbers is 193. Ang sum daw ng mga squares ng dalawang number ay 193. We now have square ng first number plus square ng second number equals 193. Substitute natin ang first number or one of the numbers is x. So, we have x and then square natin. Plus, Ang second number natin is 19 minus x. So, meron tayong 19 minus x and then is squared. Equals 193. For step 3, carry out the plan. Let's solve the equation. So, ito yung nakuha nating equation kanina. We will solve. Okay, so let's copy x squared. So, we have x squared. And then, 19 minus x squared is a square of a binomial. So, meron tayong pattern sa pagkuha ng square ng binomial. The first is, i-square natin yung first term, which is 19. Ang 19 is square, or 19 times 19 is 361. And then, para makuha itong pangalawang term, I-multiply natin yung first term at saka last term and then i-multiply natin sa 2. 19 times negative x is negative 19x times 2 is negative 38x. Remember to multiply 2 after i-multiply yung first term at saka last term. And para sa last term, para makuha to, i-square naman natin itong last term. Negative x is square or negative x times negative x is positive x is square. And then equals 193. Okay, so ayusin natin. So, Pagtabihin natin yung merong exponent na 2, yung ating mga quadratic term. And then, isunod natin yung negative 38x. Ihuli natin yung mga constant term, 361. So, saan nang galing yung negative 193? Si positive 193 ay nilipat natin sa left from positive naging negative 193. Okay, so next, simplify. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. And then, copy negative 38x. 361 minus 193 is 168. Copy equals 0. As you can see, meron tayong common terms between 2, negative 38, and 168. So, they are all divisible by 2. So, i-divide natin by 2. Let's simplify. 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Negative 38x divided by 2 is negative 19x. And 168 divided by 2 is positive 84. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So, equals 0. And then, let's solve the equation. Okay, so we will use the factoring method. Factors of x squared are x and x. Factors ng 84 na ang sum ay negative 19 are negative 7 and negative 12. So, meron tayong positive dito. So, both 
negative iyon dahil ang middle term natin ay negative. If we multiply negative 7 and negative 12, negative 7 times negative 12 is positive 84. Negative 7 plus negative 12 ay negative 19. Let's solve for x. Equate, equate natin sa 0 ang mga factors. x minus 7 equals 0. So, x equals 7. Yung negative 7, nilipat natin sa right, naging positive 7. The next factor is x minus 12. And then, equate natin sa 0. And then, solve for x. We have x equals 12. So, si negative 12, nilipat natin sa right, naging positive 12. Okay, so since ang inahanap ay two numbers, so we, we can now have positive 7 and positive 12. Let's have a continuation of example 3. Step 4 is to look back. So let's do the checking. So ito yung nating nabuong equation kanina. Ang square ng first number plus the square of the second number is 193. Or, we, we have x square plus square of 19 minus x equals 193. Ang nakuha nating solutions kanina ay 7 and 12. Okay, substitute natin. Ang first number is 7. So, we have 7 and then squared. Ang second number natin is 12. So, we have 12 squared. Equals 193. And then, we simplify. 7 squared is 49. 12 squared is 144. Equals 193. 49 plus 144 is 193, so equal siya sa 193. That is true. Balikan natin yung representation natin kanina. Ang x ay one of the numbers. And then, 19 minus x is the other number. So, ang first number natin, kung ang first number natin ay 7, Ang other number is 12. Paano nakuha yung 12? 19 minus 7 is equal to 12. Kung ang first number natin ay 12, ano naman kayo yung other number? Ang other number natin is 7. Paano natin nakuha? 19 minus 12 is 7. Therefore, our answer to our problem, the two numbers are 7 and 12.